Gentlemen, welcome back to the T. Shanley Starting a Business, Building a Brand blog. This one, big number 133. And it's the day, it's the day, it's the day I'm not going to sing. But I am going to tell you and show you the T. Shanley Acne Systems, because there are two of them, for the first time. Level one, level two. Um, quick, I'm not even, quick update. T. Shanley's kicking ass. We're doing great and we're so excited to launch this. Um, launch date hasn't changed. I think I screwed up in, in the last vlog talking about how I thought it was going to be launching this week. It's actually the following week on, I, I think I'm doing my video on the 14th or 15th, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, I just actually filmed the video. Today I filmed the video for my YouTube channel talking about this product, launching it, and I almost got choked up. All right, I get choked up all the time, but the deal is this, you know, I used to growing up, you know, suffer from breakouts, acnes, blemishes, and all that, all that nasty stuff. And it is one of the most emotionally devastating things that can happen to a young guy. Like when you're older, I think, you know, starting to lose your hair is one of those things. But when you're young, like, like acne is just so incredibly emotionally, like, like a punch in the face. And, um, and growing up, I would have breakouts, like sometimes more severe than others. You know, I used like the Oxy and, and spot treatments and stuff like that um, on my back. Like, oh my God, I did, there were summers where I wouldn't take off my shirt because it was literally from like neck down to my waist covered in bumps and acne in my chest. And it was, it was devastating, right? And so I know from personal experience how bad it is when, when you've got acne growing up. Now, growing up, I, I grew out of it. That's the good news. And also Tiege Hanley. Um, that's one of the craziest things, right? When we started Tiege Hanley, you know, we never set out when we first started to make an acne product, right? It was, hey, this is, these are the products you need. There are three levels. You've heard the story a zillion times, right? So we launched this and like 30 days after we launched, automatically we started getting all these, all these emails, all these, all these notifications, all these posts about guys saying, yo, my skin, my acne, it's cleared up. And we're like, what? <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Or I guess we didn't expect that to happen. And so we called our chemist and we're like, yo, why are all these people saying that their acne is clearing up? And then he explained it. Um, and in a nutshell, you know, to get rid of your acne, you need to adopt a solid skincare routine and regimen. You need to use a face wash that is not too drying, it's not too harsh. Our moisturizer our, and our face wash is just that. It is like not acne specific, but is perfect for people that have acne and people that don't have acne. Our moisturizers don't have a bunch of crap in them that clog your pores. Our exfoliating scrub, like you need to exfoliate a few times a week in order to get things like cooking and moving on your face. Um, and things like our, our serum, our eye cream, all these things are very pro like healthy skin. You know, our, our anti-aging super serum has a lot of retinol in it. And so there's a lot of cell turnover, antibacterial properties. And so when you sort of take a step back and you think about, you know, hey, somebody who is experiencing acne, you start using and taking care of your skin, you know, on a regular basis in a systematic way, of course, it's going to clear up a little bit, especially when the products are as high quality as ours. But that being said, we never, we didn't want to market our products as an acne treatment because there are some things that if you are going to develop an acne system or treatment, you need like salicylic acid, one of the, you know, critical things to help with, you know, cell turnover, regenerization, regenerization, you get what I'm saying. Anyway, so it's been literally like 18 months, I think, since we first said, hey, we got to develop an acne system. That's like next up. It makes total sense. We think that we're going to have a huge market for it because to be honest, we never anticipated the audience and the user of regular Tiege Hanley to be as young as it is. But when you think about, you know, sort of where they're hearing about it, you know, they're millennials, they're guys that are watching YouTube and, and all these, you know, influencers like Jose and Antonio and, and, you know, all these guys, right? It makes sense. But once we realized that our demographic was skewing super young, as opposed to like, 40s and 50s, which we sort of assume. Now, of course, we've still got guys in their 40s and 50s that are using Tiege Hanley and older and younger. Um, but we knew that we needed to come out with an acne specific product and treatment. 
And so for like 18 months, we've been developing this. We've been trying things. We've been, you know, like our chemist would create products. They'd put them in the, his little like cooker thing and he'd cook it and see like, it'd be like a 30 day thing and you've got to t test it and see if it separates. And it's like, oh, it doesn't work. Or like, we've gone through like version after version after version. But this last time we got one and he's like, yo, I think we got it. I don't think he actually said, yo, <laughs> I said, I said, yo. And so we're like, okay, you know, fingers crossed. And um, so we all used it. We all took it and put it on our face. Kelly's um, daughters have, have acne and some blemishes. They used it and liked it. And so it was like, all right, what's next? And so we decided to send it out to the wild. And the wild is you, right? Guys, we had um, from the vlog, we basically said, hey, if you are somebody who does suffer from acne, whether or not it's mild, medium, or severe, send us a contact and, and we need people to actually test our products. And so that was probably one of the scariest things, right? Because everybody had to sign like disclaimers, like I will not sue you, Tej Hanley, if, if you know, my face melts. <laughs> I'm just being dramatic. Anyway, so we sent it out there and and we waited and we we're all like sort of like like this right we're like oh god please be good please be good and around the 30-day mark we sent out forms um and surveys to get feedback and it was so incredible i remember rob like calling us like hey we're getting some of these back in it looks good it looks good and we're like oh really and so we kept getting them and then we compiled all the data and it was incredible now sure there were a few people that said it didn't it didn't help my acne some people actually said you know it made it worse but one of the interesting things about acne and treatments is that when you start using products sometimes it actually gets a little worse before it starts getting better um, and so some of these people that could have been what, what's going on you know the other issue is that with acne it's kind of all over the board everybody's case is a little bit different. Some people are more severe. Some people are a little bit more mild. You know, the way that we break out, the way that our skin produces oil, everybody is a little bit different. But overall, like 98.999% of people, I forget exactly the numbers, there were a few people, like three, that didn't like the product. Everybody else said it was better or as good as the current treatment that they were on. And so this was like, this was like huge, big win for Tej Hanley. And, you know, honestly, at this point, I am, I'm just, I, I, I have been wanting to launch this for so long, but it's a process, you know? Our lab had to get, you know, the ingredients for the acne treatment. Um, we needed to figure out like dosing and sort of what we were going to do in terms of, is it just one level? Can they just buy an extra? Like, what does it look like? Because once again, we realize that people are different in terms of levels of severity. And so we think, We've gotten what we need and, and what you need, more specifically and importantly. Um, and so what we have is the acne systems. There are two systems. There's level one and there's level two. Let me open it and show you what you're actually going to be getting, right? Very exciting. Um, you get the card like normal. The back is not like normal. Some of the things are the same. Some of the steps, most of the steps are the same, but there's a product that's missing and another one that replaces it. Um, it tells you same thing, how to use what, when, and what order, and how much. And then in the, are you nervous? Are you excited, right? Sexy green package or paper, remember? The vlog that I showed you where we were actually at headquarters last time, we talked about the green paper. This looks incredible. Um, what you're going to get is wash morning and night. You use this same like normal, right? You've got to wash your face. If you've got acne, you've got to wash it. You've got to remove the oil. You've got to remove the dirt. You need something that's mild and not drying. The Tej Hanley wash is ridiculous. It's the best on the market in my opinion. And apparently thousands and thousands and thousands of other people's opinion. You also are going to get the scrub, exfoliating scrub twice a week, same like normal, right? You've got to exfoliate and um, you've got to remove the dead skin cells, help with turnover, regeneration, and to remove a lot of crap that gets stuck in our, our, our pores. And so you've still got to exfoliate. Morning routine is the same, AM moisturizer. You need to apply a moisturizer with an SPF of 20. Now, one of the biggest misconceptions with people that have oily skin is that you don't need to put moisturizer on. That is wrong. 
You need to put on a moisturizer that isn't going to clog your pores and be too heavy, but the bottom line is this. You need to give your skin moisture in order to help sort of like regulate it because if you don't, excuse me, your body's like, hey, what's going on? And it starts overproducing it and producing a lot more, especially if you combine that with constantly washing your face and stripping and removing all of the oils, all of the everything that's good off your face, that's bad, right? And so nighttime, this is where things get a little bit interesting. Wash it like normal, but instead of a PM moisturizer, you're gonna be using Acne, the Daily Moisturizing Acne Cream. This is not a spot treatment. This is an all over, like your entire face treatment. What you're going to use is approximately three pumps of the acne cream. And then you're gonna to go to sleep, right? Wake up, wash your face, everything is like normal. Go on to your normal routine. Um, this product has so many incredible ingredients. Salicylic acid, plantain extract, um, alfalfa extract. It's got something called like cookie cookie nut, or I'm pronouncing that wrong. All sorts of incredible things to help clear up your skin and still moisturize it. One of the big issues that people have is that most acne treatments are incredibly drying, right? And dry skin is not good for acne. You need to make sure that it still maintains proper hydration and moisture level, but it just needs some extra stuff in order to basically do what it needs to do, which is clear up. Um, so that's the level one. If you've got mild to medium acne, I guess that's what I'll call it, that's probably the system you're gonna wanna go with. Um, if you're somebody who you feel like, you know what, I've got a more severe case alpha, we definitely need to take it up a notch, we've got you handled level two. What you're gonna get in this, everything is the same, except you get two bottles of the acne moisturizing cream. Um, and the deal is this, morning routine, you wash, you exfoliate twice a week, that's AM, exfoliate twice a week, and then you apply your AM, or not AM, it's, it's the same thing, your acne cream. And then after that, you let it dry for a few seconds, and then you're gonna put on your AM moisturizer on top of it. And then at night, you're gonna do it again, but no moisturizer at night, just the product, which has moisturizing properties in it. And that's it, two levels, depending on you, your severity, it's really gonna be up to you. Um, <laughs> it's fucking, it. did I just say, uh, it's awesome. It is so incredibly awesome. It's so incredibly exciting. And the reason I'm so excited about this, other than I think it's a business home run, um, I know what it's gonna do in terms of, of helping guys feel better about themselves and confidence, you know? That's the whole thing. You know, Tish Hanley at, at the, the start and the end of the day is all about helping guys feel incredible about themselves. We just do that through skincare. Um, and knowing that there are so many men out there that are suffering from acne. And here's the other thing, could women use this? Absolutely, 100%, yes, all day long. Anybody can use the system. It's, it's amazing. It's, uh, it's a rock star. It is, it is seriously just a great product. Uh, but knowing that this is going to change and help so many lives is really exciting. And um, no, it's, it's kind of like emotional. I'm not going to cry, <laughs> but, but it definitely um, makes me just kind of like sit back a little bit and, and be like, you know what? This is awesome. It's awesome to be part of something that is successful for one, but number two is, is doing something to help guys and gals, because I know that there are women that use T. Shanley, feel great about themselves. And um, I mean, I don't know what else is better than that. But now let's get to a few questions um, from the last vlog. One business question, have you ever thought about doing TSA friendly travel kits? We don't need to, because all of T. Shanley products are TSA friendly. How about that? Next question comes from James Humphreys. He says, I'm very much into grooming style. Nice watches, etc. However, I heard Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk, um, say something that made me think. He said, all people who uh, dress nice and buy expensive watches and cars are the most insecure people. I used to be very insecure growing up, but now I feel good about myself. Uh, my, my challenge is I respect his opinion. What do you think? What do I think, James? Great question. Um, I think Gary Vaynerchuk is Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, he's got a lot of opinions and that's sort of what he does and that's what his, you know, that's his thing, right? Um, Gary is somebody who 
sort of has, has thumbed his nose and given the finger to the establishment. He is super freaking rich. He has been incredibly successful and his whole thing is the uniform of the casual sort of entrepreneur where you know he is you know dressed in t-shirts and jeans and doesn't really care about that. But I would say that Gary Vaynerchuk probably has, he also I think lives in New York City. I mean, he also wants to buy the, buy the jets, right? That's what, something else I've heard him say. I've also thought that people that own sports teams are incredibly insecure and are trying to compensate for something. Is that true? I don't know. <laughs> I'm kidding. But seriously, I mean, Gary Vaynerchuk has super expensive taste on certain things, I'm sure. Um, and it's all in what you value and what you want to spend your money on. In terms of being insecure, because I wear a nice watch, I drive a nice car, it's really a function of if I've got the choice and I've got the means and I have the choice to drive a $1,000 car or a $50,000 car and I can afford it and it makes me feel good for the time that I'm in it, I say do it. But it's all in what you value. Um, and, and at the end of the day, you know, I think Gary Vaynerchuk, I think some people, I think some people probably are, right? I know that there, I, I should say, I know that there are people that, um, that do, that, that buy super crazy nuts expensive things because they're trying to show off, right? It's not for them, it's for the outside world. What they, you know, how, how they are perceived by other people. You know, at the end of the day, you've got to decide for yourself. You know, do you feel good about who you are and, and if you want to buy something nice, do it. Do not listen to Gary Vaynerchuk um, <laughs> because I'm sure Gary has, has his own issues. And so, you know, <laughs> Insecurity probably isn't one of them, but um, you know, at the end of the day, do what you want. You know, he says a lot of things that are just like shock value and to try and get people, you know, talking. And look what happened; it works. We're talking about him here, and so good job, Gary. Congratulations! But don't for a second think that everybody who buys nice watches and likes nice stuff is super insecure. Some of them are, some of them aren't. It all depends on you. Two weeks, <laughs> like two weeks, I'm gonna be posting a video on my YouTube channel, how to get rid of your acne, look for it. Make sure you're subscribed and that's gonna be your, your cue to execute if you're interested in the acne system. Gonna have a landing page, um, it's also going to have, that landing page is gonna have like a discount for your first system if you wanna give it a try. Don't know how long that discount is going to go into work, um, or we're going to keep it, you know, supplies are limited to this. We don't know exactly how many are we're going to sell. And so it could be really successful. It could be not successful. Um, but I think it's going to be good. What do you think? Down in the comments, let me know. What is your prediction? What's your prediction? And then I'll reveal, I'm sure, some type of I'll let you know sort of what happened once we launch this thing. Um, next vlog, I'd like to answer a lot more questions, though, and tell you, actually, Next vlog, <laughs> ready? Tune in on this Wednesday. This Wednesday, I got something special for you. Me and Jose Zaniga here, challenge, $100 challenge. Um, we actually, he came up to Atlanta. It's for a promotion for his essential V-neck tees or his essential line of clothing. I wanna tell you next week a little bit more about Jose because I've always watched his videos. I've met him a few times, but I got to hang out with him and his sister for, for a day last week and it charged me up and got me so excited about business and about entrepreneurship, I can't even tell you. And so I wanna talk a little bit about that experience that I had with Jose and I also wanna tell you sort of the importance of being around people that are on the same level as you, not in terms of financially or, or skill or anything, I'm talking about motivation and goals. And so it was, it was like, it was amazing, and I'll tell you more about that next time. But guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. Acne system in the house, almost for you. Guys, here we go. We love you more than our double monk strap shoes, and we think you're super fantastic, crazy amazing. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.